Hello and welcome back to part 6 of this series. In the last video we implemented uh, thumbnail images, we downloaded one image and attached it to all our posts and now we can display it and it's a link to the post as well. Once we create the single post page we, you, it will access that. So in this video we're going to be implementing uh, tags. Tags is a really cool feature that allows your users to browse posts uh, that have only one particular tag, which means uh, these posts belong to uh, one particular topic. So let's do that. Uh, but before we do that, let's stop uh, the development server. Let's have these windows side by side and let's commit our changes. So get add dot to add all the files and, and get commit. And our message would be fetching and displaying uh, thumbnail thumbnail images oops images there we go okay let's start implementing uh, tags so the first thing we, we do is let's go to our posts and let's add an entry called uh, tags and in markdown the syntax for bullet points or for arrays um, is with uh, a dash and then you just type whatever you want. So the first post, let's give it a code as a tag. Second one, this is HTML. So let's give it tags code and design. And then the third one, let's give this tags uh, design design and tutorial. It doesn't matter that much at this point. Okay, so in order to see these tags, we need to fetch them first. So let's go to our index and here where we fetch all the properties and the front matter stuff, let's add tags and then let's pass that to our post. We're passing a property we haven't created yet, which is tags. So tags is node.frontmatter.tags. So let's go and handle this tags thing in our post component. So let's add tags here. Um, and by the way, this is destructuring. If this confused you, uh, this instead of putting props and then using props that title, props that author, we're just destructuring them from the props object. Okay, so our tags should go before the button. We want them around here. So before our button, which is right here, let's do. And by the way, um, I'm going to have them as a, a badge. Let me show you in the React trap. These are badges. We import this element called badge. And they're like this. The, it's just some sort of like an unclickable button. And we're going to use the blue one, the primary color. But before we do that, let me bring in this function. And I'll explain in a minute what it does. Let's just copy this. I'm going to post this paste bin um, link in the description and I'm going to create a folder called util which stands for utility um, and I'm going to create a file called utility let me check if I spelled that correctly utility no I didn't <laughs> utility functions it's hard to talk and type at, at times I'm going to paste this and I'm going to do module.exports equals slugify, which is this function. I'm going to explain a couple of things. So what this function does is it creates a slug from um, from a word, from a normal string. A slug is a, a URL-friendly string. So let's say you had a tag that is called um, web design, or even like this, your tag is called web design. This function will basically turn it into this web dash design. It's going to make a slug. This is a slug and this is a regular string. So um, now we export it and I'm using a node syntax for exporting stuff and I'm not using ES6 export because we're going to use it later in this file right here, Gatsby node, which, uh, which will be run by node and not by uh, React. So the syntax has to be friendly as well for for node. Okay, let's go back to our post component. Let's bring in that function by doing import slugify. And by the way, I did an array here in case you wanted to add your own functions or whatever. You can just like 
add them like here, other function, uh, and then you just can just use that. So I'll just leave it like this for now. So import slugify from go back one level and then util and then utility functions. And here we need to add a ul with the class uh, post dash tags. And if you're wondering where's the styling coming from, it's just coming from here. If you go to card uh, css, it's right here. It just gives it, uh, it removes the padding and puts them in uh, in an inline instead of like one on top of another, and some basic styling basically. So let's add, let's m loop through our tags array. Let's do tags dot map, and then for each tag, we return. And by the way, again, instead of doing this, opening a block of code and doing return, since we're only going to return something, we're not going to do anything else. Let's we can just skip that and do uh, normal parentheses and do our return uh, element. So our ally will have inside of it a link that goes to uh, let's do template literal string because we need to use a variable inside of this string. And let's do slash tag slash and dollar sign open uh, curly braces to put a, a variable in the string. And let's do slugify tag. Now this will take the tag test text rather and make it into a um, slug and then uh, form this URL for us. And this link will say, we'll just have the name of the tag. So just like this tag. Um, wait, no, not like this. We need to have our badge here. So let's do badge and let's actually bring that in. Badge from React Strap. And it's gonna have a color attribute of primary, which is gonna be blue. Let's close that and then let's say tag. Oops, tag. I save that. Uh, what else? I think we are good. So let's save all files and let's run our development server doing Gatsby develop. Now this should now print. Um, Print display all our um, our post tags under under the text in the postcard uh, before the uh, read more button. Um, okay, it's done. Let's click that, and here we go. So the third post has design and tutorial as we added them here, and you can see them here. The first one has only one code, and if you click on one, it takes you to slash tag slash tutorial and just to demonstrate what I was talking about about making a slug let's just change this design one to uh, web design and let's save uh, I love how it immediately changes it's so fast so it's right here you can see the normal string but when I click it's become a slug a URL friendly slug okay I want to change something I want these tags to be more visible so uh, let's give this badge a class name of text dash uppercase, which, which does exactly that, just makes it uppercase. And uh, let me revert back the web design to just design. It doesn't really matter, but let's just do that. <laughs> okay, I think we're done for now for this video. We got our tags here. And uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll be actually working on the sidebar so we're going to be finishing i'm taking the approach of finishing the home page first and then starting to work on the other pages and if this is overwhelming that each time we click a link it's broken don't worry about that guys we're, we're going to implement these pages and it's going to be easy and smooth sailing and easier than what you think it would be so just make sure to tune in and code along thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one cheers